Hey, what's up gamers? Welcome back to Project Ascension. Today we're checking out the World Forge mission chant known as Dark Master. Now, Dark Master is one of the ones that we just showed you how to get a few videos ago. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't checked it out. But that one will require either a undead pet or a demon. And that pet will do a dot, which is called Necromancer's Touch. Now that touch will do damage to that pet 5% each stack. But your drained life, which is also very crucial, will not only heal you, but it'll also heal your pet, as well as with your Shutter Bolt and your Haunt, two other crucial abilities, that will stack up to five times doing extra damage. So basically, you're gonna wanna stack that up, let your pet get his hits off, and then all of a sudden, bang, you're just smacking out with a drained life or a drained soul. So we'll show you some of the talents that we went with, some of the extra abilities. Um, this is the Dark Master Enchant. We also went with Shadow Waste Bolt, which is another enchant we just showed you how to get. Very cool. This basically applies a little dot to your Shadow Bolt. A little extra damage here and there. It can't hurt. As well as we got... I don't think we have anything too crazy on our abilities yet. Pendulum's a nice one. You deal some extra spell haste or extra crit depending on your mana situation. You'll be using a lot of mana on this build. And then if you head over here to... I'll show you the skill cards that we got. We went with the Drain Life and the Drain Soul. Those are very crucial to this build, as well as some of the lucky ones. We actually didn't get any of these. Um, we did end up picking up Haunt at a reroll at a later date, but we didn't actually get the lucky card. Innervate for some extra mana, and the Spellstone, which will also help out with uh, some haste damaged up by periodic spells. So with those ones, there wasn't too many good ones, but we did also roll Brilliance Aura for some mana regen, and the Evocation, those are pretty crucial because you're going to be using a lot of mana. Um, any dots you can get on, like Curse of Nine, the Corruption will be very good. And this is some of the talents I went with. A lot of haste and and or crit is very always good. Drain Soul, which is very nice, you get a lot of mana back from that. Especially in like Battlegrounds, if you're at like the Hillsbrad one, just pop that as someone's about to die and you'll get 25% of your mana, which is really handy. We got that, we got some Shadow Mastery, some things stacking up. And also for the haunt. Now the haunt is a talent ability, so just double check to make sure you have a talent available once you get to level 60, so you can hopefully obtain this, or if you're re-rolling. And then we got some demonology, a little bit of healing that actually comes in handy. I do see that quite often, and a little bit of destruction for the shadow bolt. Um, we, we got shadow fury, which is handy in battlegrounds. Other than that, we got a couple other oddballs here and there, some extra intellect, extra mana, um, a lot in the mage tree as well, like mind mastery. That's really good. Arcane Mind, extra damage, but you lose a little bit extra mana, but you also get extra intellect in general, so that's nice. And a little bit of things here and there, basically general towards most spellcaster builds, but I'll let the rest of this video play out and take a look at how they play.